In this example, we will create a static structural analysis of a thick cylinder pressure vessel. So the first thing we'll do is drag the static structural analysis system onto the project schematic. And then we can one by one uh, work on the geometry model and then in mechanical we can set up, solve and look at the results. So first of all, we'll choose a 2D analysis system because we'll model this as a plane strain model in 2D. And then we can then start geometry uh, with the design modeler. Now the design modeler has started. We will start by uh, sketching. And we can do that sketch on the XY plane. We can go to the sketching tool. And the first thing I like to do is under constraints, we'll turn on automatic constraints. And then we can view the XY plane and we can zoom in to get uh, a representative uh, viewing um, distance. So we can then go to draw and do a simple arc by center, for example. So we can go to the center and that will be the center of the arc. We can define the first arc. So that's going to be constrained by the X axis and the Y axis. And we can draw another one. Again, constrained by the X axis and the Y axis. And we can draw lines to close the surface. So that, that gives us um, our quarter symmetric representation of a text cylinder. One thing I haven't done is put dimensions. We can simply do that by creating the radius dimensions for uh, this and the other arc. Um, so we can do that simply by clicking on the arcs. And then we can go to the details view and say the first radius is the internal radius and that's 0.1 meters and the second one is the outside radius and that's 0 0.2 meters so we can if you like um, go to dimensions and then move them so that they are uh, where we want again so in terms of viewing, that's better now. And that is the geometry, the sketch, which we can create a, a surface from. So we can go to the concept and then surfaces from sketches. And we can click on the sketch we just created, so that's selected, and say apply. And then we can simply create, generate. So that gives us our surface model. And the surface model is sufficient to create our 2D quarter symmetric pressure vessel. If you want, we can also give it a, a certain thickness, say, 0.1 meters, but again, um, in our case, it's not really going to be important because we are going to do a plain stress or plain strain type analysis. So the next thing is to go back to Workbench and we create our mechanical model. So we run the mechanical tool. Our geometry is automatically attached. 
and we can start working on the tree so you can see the the surface body is translated transferred into mechanical um, we haven't got a mesh yet we can simply update this and see what mechanical gives us um, in terms of a, a coarse mesh and we can work with this mesh initially and we can think about how to refine it later so under static structural analysis um, we can say what our analysis settings are and what our uh, loads are and supports are so let's start by applying a couple of frictionless supports so I want to apply them onto the symmetry surfaces so these are going to be our frictionless supports and the only load I want to apply is a simple unit pressure on the inside surface so I can apply one Pascal um, pressure on there so that's essentially it to solve uh, the structure uh, the analy analysis uh, can be done now but we can add a couple of uh, solution items so for example total deformation and stress equivalent stress or the maximum principal stress can be added on and then we can do solve so the solution is done and we can see the maximum principal stresses and the maximum is 1.6 pascals total deformation is very very small of course the load we applied is very small equivalent stress is 2.3 pascals if you like we can do a simple animation and see um, how the stresses are progressing through the application of one pascal load we can now go back and refine the mesh if you want. You can apply a mesh control, for example, a sizing control. We can apply it onto uh, the geometry. So I can click on the surface filter, click on the surface and say apply. And then we can say the element size is 0 0.01 meters. Let's see what sort of mesh that gives us. We can go back to mesh. We can see that the old mesh has become obsolete. We can update the mesh. That's a bit more refined geometry mesh. And you can see that the solution items have a, a yellow lightning symbol next to them. So we'll need to resolve the model. Again, solves in a few seconds, and we can see the maximum principal stress. The maximum value is on the inside surface, of course. 